A big hello and a very warm welcome to Brand Equity. You're watching a Brand Equity special. We're calling it King Fisher with a question mark. I'm Sonali Krishna. We all know the king of good times is in the docks, but what the fa what's the fate of United Brewery's flagship brand, Kingfisher Beer? Will it suffer or is it actually stronger than we think it is? With, will Malia's deeds impact his retail brand, which is really synonymous with him? Or will it soar like never before? Will Kingfisher be Kingfishered? That's the million dollar question we're going to be debating right now. And joining me today live to discuss this are the best branding minds of the country. Joining me live from Del Delhi is Kiran Kalap, India's ace brand consultant. And in the Mumbai studio with me, I'm joined by Pralat Kakkar, renowned ad man, Ramesh Thomas of Equator, the man behind all brand valuations. And for the uninitiated, Ramesh virtually introduced brand valuations as a strategic business tool to the Indian industry. And last but not the least, MG Parmeshwaran, popularly known as Ambi of FCB Ulka and of course the author of several best-selling brand books. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for taking time out and joining me today right here in the ET Now studio. But before I start shooting you with questions, let me first put out some data points of Kingfisher Beer, which is really India's largest selling beer brand in the country. According to WPP's Brand Z, which values India's top 100 brands, which is valued at uh, which values Kingfisher beer at number 17 in 2015 with a valuation of 1.37 billion dollars, in 2015 it dropped three places but ironically its valuation increased. That's not all. When one talks of the beer's market share, Kingfisher's strong continues to lead the Indian beer market with a market share of about 40% in the strong beer category. Kingfisher Premium continues to grow its market share and is the first choice for mild beer for consumers across the country. And if one talks of United Breweries, which is really a joint venture between Heineken and UB, it has a tight grip over the domestic beer market with over 50% share. So let's begin this rather interesting debate. And I'd like to start with you, Kiran, uh, in Delhi. So I'd like to bring you in. Tell me, with the king himself on the run, will King Fisher fizzle out or will it continue to soar high? Okay. The short answer is there will be no effect on the Kingfisher brand. <clears throat> the long answer is because A, the main brand is a product brand. If we were talking about a professional services brand where the head of the organization himself is under some kind of shadow, that entire shadow is cast on the all the employees. Here we are talking about a very strong product brand. And the if in this entire equation is it will continue to be strong so long as it continues to meet customer expectations with newer and newer products as it has done in the past. So whether it is Kingfisher Strong, Kingfisher Blue, which is trying to target at various segments and meet new customer expectations, the brand will remain strong and unaffected by what has happened to Mr. Malia. I see, I see. So that's an interesting point of view, uh, Kiran. Let me bring in, before I come to Pralat, and I'm going to come to you last, let me bring in uh, Ramesh. Ramesh, uh, you're the valuations man, really. Uh, tell me, uh, are you in agreement with Kiran? Do you think there is absolutely no impact between uh, an owner and, uh, and, you know, his baby or his brand? Do you think we've come of age where we can actually separate both entities and you know before you get to the valuations but let's just talk about consumer perception for one minute sure um, I think about seven or eight years ago I put 20 rupees a share into Satyam <laughs> okay Satyam was a well-known fraud it was a massive exposure uh, everyone took a hit but the point is the business was fundamentally strong right and I don't think any customer saw any issue with the way Satyam as a company was going to deliver value to them anywhere in the world. <coughs> and so when all the hoopla died down and the sentiment came back, you saw that it was back on par. And once uh, Mahindra bought it very confidently, it soared. The valuation soared, the company soared, all is well with the world. So therefore, everybody, the customers, the market, all stakeholders, separated out the fraudulent nature of what happened with the owners mm. from the business and its fundamental strength. 
I find both their answers very interesting, Ambi, only because this is a time and space where more and more uh, you around you, you see companies, you know, spewing, uh, you know, corporate social responsibility jargon and really, you know, purpose driven messages all the time. So if we're then going on to say that, you know, the man who is the brand ambassador in the real sense of the term brand ambassador and not an actor uh, can be actually, you know, separated from the brand itself, then, uh, you know, isn't it a little bit of a conundrum of sorts? Uh, well, I don't think so. You know, one is uh, Kingfisher as a brand is a very fun brand. And, uh, and it's, so, it's, is, it's, so is, so is Vijay Mali. Yeah, and it's a beer brand. So actually, uh, you know, it's like a mischievous, mischievous, uh, mischievous child running the company and he's gone errant and he's gone missing. So in a sense, maybe it does even help the Kingfisher brand. <laughs> you know, I mean, he's not a, he's not a stiff... A guy who wears, you know, bow tie. Uh, he wears a bow tie when he goes to fancy parties. But he's a party guy, and and he's mm -hmm. an errant child. So he's he's made a mistake. Probably guys who are guzzling beer are saying, "Hey, he's a cool guy. I wish I was him." That's a very interesting, very very interesting insight. So you're saying this entire thing of him just fleeing the country, right, and still having a good time, uh, wherever he is, uh, you know. Uh, in the world right now, you're saying is actually uh, works for him in terms of, you know, sheer mass perception because the generation that's drinking Kingfisher will say, wow, that's so cool. I, is that what you're saying? Oh, well, I, I'm, not, I'm not saying <laughs> that, but I'm saying that it's a beer brand after all. It's a fun brand after all. It's not, a, it's not a serious. I mean, I would probably be worried if it was, let's say, a life saving medicine, you know, and, and therefore I'll be worried. You know, if, if the guy has run away. So God knows what all does he puts in the medicine. But it's a beer brand. It's a fun brand. He's having a good time. So I'm sure in bars around the country, Kingfisher sale is ticking as always and probably even doing a bit of an uptick. Uptick. You know? Okay. That's, a, that's, a, that's an interesting take on it. Uh, Pralag, I'm going to bring you in, uh, the man who's going to make this conversation red hot. <laughs> <laughs> Am I? Uh, no, my only perception is that I've been putting my ear to the ground and I've been trying to figure out what youngsters are actually talking about sure. with uh, what has happened to Vijayamalia. Why did he run away? And uh, what has he really done uh, so bad that uh, that everybody is now uh, witch hunting him sure. you know, for whatever it's worth? And does it affect his various brands? Mm. Whether it's UB, whether it's Kingfisher or not. Kingfisher was always associated with the Jamalia. Mm. And the king of good times, which was what line for Kingfisher was, was what represented him. Mm. And he partied unabashedly. Sure. And he was unapologetically. Un unapologetically, and he was a great host. Mm. And everybody who was around him, or with him, or liked him, or didn't like him, uh, still enjoyed his parties, regardless. Were of, you one of them, Pralad? Of course, <laughs> very much. And so we, uh, you know, we all partied with him. We all enjoyed his party. The only objection I think the young people today in this country, who are the main consumers of Kingfisher. The only thing that they can actually point against him today, if anything mm. is, is, a bad, is a bad point, is that he left the employees of Kingfisher Airlines in the lurch. Mm. Otherwise, there are a whole lot of guys who, uh, Rajan, who's head of the Reserve Bank, has now bought out. There's some 30 odd industrialists who owe the banks in this country and this country some God knows how many millions of crores. Mm. 100,000 crores. Uh, yeah, 10,000 crores. 100,000 crores. Yeah, now, Vijay Malia, in, if you look at the larger picture, is really, you know, I mean, he ran because everybody was after his, uh, his skin. But has he been proved to be a, a, a scamster? Is he a scamster? Or is he just a guy who's mismanaged his company? So, one second. So, are you saying because it, you know, because the perception is that he's just mismanaged, mismanaged and he's basically this flamboyant party boy and you know that's his perception uh, and, and 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 not uh, uh, you know a man with a fraudulent mind uh, is why the kingfisher brand is safe and you know and no, according to ambi no. may actually go a notch up or two in terms of sheer brand it perception probably will because it's it's no longer completely owned by him okay you see it's owned by hanikan and a whole lot of other yes, people yes but you know that is true I, mean, I agree with you but the fact is the common man mm. Right? When I enter a bar, Associates, yeah. I don't think we associate Kingfisher with the, this with grand Heineken, JV yeah. with Heineken, right? So, uh, which is my entire point. So, to him, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a, a, a bank for your buck because it's value for money. Now, whether uh, uh, Vijay Malia is 
uh, mismanaged his uh, what do you call airline and gone into huge debt and put it put all his companies into a spiral, yeah. or whether he actually scammed the con- uh, government and he scammed the common man, he hasn't. But what we hold against well, him? Well, uh, no, 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 please no, come let's, let's be clear. Look, uh, look, is it is it simply a case of? wrong business decisions exactly uh, which oil. means you know oil prices going to 140 etc it was it just a wrong business decision because of which kingfisher airlines went belly up he didn't pay salaries or is there something more to it we don't know we don't know the fact but is but what is the perception the perception is let me tell you per- the perception. perception today is actually it you know what you guys said is right there are there are bade bade magarmach hai ha ha vijay malya se bhi bade magarmach hai Okay, but Vijay Malaya, who sub has become the media's whatever senator, Nobody everyone boy. is going. Ah, yeah, the whole, so he's a he's become favorite. Media again. Actually, hopefully, you know, I hope that this actually points a finger toward even bigger scams. Absolutely, you know, corporate governance in India is an issue, mm. and yeah. you can't, you know, you had independent directors sitting on yeah. on his in his on his company. Mm. Now, how did this happen? Uh, was money siphoned out? or was it just bad decisions he went and bought aircrafts yes. at absurd price where he should not have he should have probably leased the aircraft okay was it just simple business mistakes or was it a scam we don't know because there's so much dust and hot air and smoke around the whole thing uh, and and he's also not helping it by saying you know i will return when the condition is right i mean famous last word we heard from many no. people <laughs> uh, 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 can i can i come in on this sure. i completely agree with him i think if you look at uh, some of the things that surrounded uh, the, the ultimately this willful default attack mm. uh, it's about the environment actually mm. look at the way for example the loan from the banks was raised mm. so you're going to talk about the valuations yes. here no, right it was raised against kingfisher the collateral it was collateralized against the kingfisher brand okay i i i don't want to get into that right now because ah, i ah. have to take a short break at this point kiran i hope you're listening in to this heated discussion we're having here in bombay i'm going to take a short break but when we're back we're going to be discussing that very issue the kingfisher valuation and how they how they managed to raise that 4000 odd crores coming back in just a moment stay tuned Welcome back you're in the midst of watching a very very interesting debate it's a brand equity special we're calling it king fissured with a question mark and now to take it to the second leg of this discussion i really want to talk about brand valuation of king fisher per se and here this is where i want you to come in ramesh as you're the the brand valuation master uh talk to me about uh you know how uh f- about 4000 crores was raised for you know as collateral for the king fisher brand and was that really justified well the first thing is uh, to set the facts right the valuation that was provided mm. uh, for securitizing that debt mm. which sbi and others gave sure. was a little over 4100 crores right okay so back to ambi's point and i agree it is basically an environment in which we are operating and therefore there was a lot of collusion very clearly i refuse to believe that the very very senior people involved in this did not know what they were doing okay let's look at the three parties involved yeah one is sbi was willing to lend all those banks were willing to lend the money against this valuation secondly they were willing to take it kickfisher and company against that valuation what was valued is the point mm, exactly okay. and who valued it that's the third was point also the point the third point and and, 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 <laughs> and, and look at look at all the guys who were sitting on his board including the ex chairman of sebi what the hell were they doing playing yes. pocket billiards come back to that okay but what's interesting is the slate of hand in how it was positioned mm. the fact of the matter is the kingfisher brand per se was ring fenced so today mm. the lenders have no recourse to the kingfisher brand it's you can't touch that brand okay. because the intrinsic value of the brand lies in the beer business yes. what okay. was offered as collateral technically was the kingfisher airline brand mm-hmm. but i think it was positioned as though the entire kingfisher brand was brand being offered yes. mm-hmm. ultimately even when the banks did their own internal valuation the value which was uh, they came up they they came up with i believe was 160 crores not more than that for kfa so, so how were you giving a loan of that size mm-hmm. again something which is 160 crores even that i doubt sure no but right. when you talk about collusion yeah. and an atmosphere of collusion i believe there was also a lot of political interference of course because all the bad debts that we have seen 
which Mr. Rajan from the Reserve Bank has been hinting at. Yeah. And a lot of big fish in the in the water here who don't party here like Vijay Malayali, but they party outside the country. You know. <laughs> one minute, well, no. one. No. I, I agree with that point has been made. That point has been made. No, no, no. <laughs> what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is that there is political interference in the giving of loans to large companies. No, that's true. Fair so, enough. So, Fair so enough. I'm coming. So I'm coming back yeah. to the point yeah. but Ramesh, that just to Ramesh, just to ask a question. Yeah. I was going to how, answer that only. How can you how can you give a loan against Kingfisher Airline when the Kingfisher brand is owned by Heineken? Heineken. It's not owned no, by. No, this is the point. It's not owned by Heineken. Kingfisher. It's, no, it's 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 a JV. It's a JV. Yeah, but then how did then Heineken allow him to take that brand and put it on an airline and a party or whatever? How? No, no, no. So what happens technically is that if brands are are listed under separate categories, mm -hmm. there is no contradiction or conflict. That's a technical thing. Right? So you can have uh, Titan watches. Somebody actually launched a brand called Titan Foods. No problems. But you can't do it in the same business or even fashion accessories or whatever it might be. So that's the issue. Yeah, so there's lots of these gray areas. Yeah, 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 and therefore Lux. they use they, yeah, Lux underwear. So they use these uh, technicalities to be able to separate these issues. Anyway, but, but the bigger speak... issue, but the bigger issue, Sonali, is that what happens that something like brand violation comes under under uh, a cloud. And I've been trying to answer questions for the last two days since that whole story about the valuation and who did the valuation came up. I don't want to bring up professional names because please do. Uh, no, but his name is involved also. No, my name is not involved. <laughs> <laughs> I don't come close. Of course you are. Then bring, bring the name. That's why you're on the show. <laughs> no, you got to, you got to mention the name. So, now no, people no, are asking, no. for example, should a brand be actually used as security? Uh, it has uh, happened many times. Calvin Klein has used it. Mm. Walt Disney has raised $275 million yeah, line I think of the credit. Is... One second. Right. Kiran wants to say something. Kiran, please come in. Please come in. I just wanted to go back to one is this entire notion of valuation and the fact about the valuation is measuring the goodwill in the mind of the stakeholder that finally mm. in a very simplistic terms without yeah. using any jargon that that's what it boils down to now a brand is a way of doing business it's a philosophy it's a, a it's a central idea that is driving business now in this case the stakeholder which is the beer drinker mm. is interacting with the brand at that product level of the beer. Now, unless there's something wrong with the beer, there is no change in his mind about the goodwill towards brand Kingfisher. Oh, absolutely. Okay. In the, on the other issue. hand, when you're thinking about Kingfisher, the airline, mm. the people who have made the maximum amount of noise are the people who have the stakeholders there, the em employees who have suffered the most. Because their interaction with brand Kingfisher is with a paymaster who is not paying them. Absolutely. So, so when we boil it down to its components, that what is this brand finally? It's a beer brand mm. which has great products as far as the stakeholder, which is the customer is concerned. Which is why whatever happens in London or Bombay, they are not concerned. Yeah. Okay, so, what, so you're in agreement with the rest of the panel here that... Whatever may happen to Vijay Malia, that is separate to what will happen to Kingfisher because Kingfisher is, has, is a separate entity, is now stronger than possibly even Vijay Malia and will continue to do really well. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, because since Vijay Malia has taken a hit, Kingfisher hasn't. Correct. Kingfisher Brand is still King the king Fisher. of good times. Yeah. Shonali, can I flip that? Brand yeah, Kingfisher is no. expressed in a product called a beer. Yeah. Okay. So we saw that in a very difficult time for Maggie. You saw the resilience of the brand, how it how it actually bounced back. But the problem with Maggie was that you, there the product, uh, you know, was in question. Here, it's the founder that is in question. No, no, so if you could take that back to Branson and Virgin, yeah. you know, that might be a good idea as to, uh, you know, a good comparison. In any case, he's been compared to Branson several times. Uh, not at all. <laughs> Branson would not accept that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think because he's such a... He, the personality, persona of, of, of Branson is such a large overhang mm. on many of these businesses. No, Branson have... has failed more times than he's uh, succeeded. But he's failed spectacularly, he's succeeded spectacularly. Yes. He, is, never, he never gave up. Pra, that is that, that, that economy, that society, yeah, yeah. you know, I mean... Yeah. Uh... But I want to flip it for a second. I'm saying to make this argument clearer about separation of people and, and businesses. Yes. If you saw something like ABCL oh, completely sure. collapsed, 
but the massive equity of amitabh bachan couldn't save that mm, mm, because the business had failed sure. nothing to do with amitabh bachan sure yeah sure. so sure. you really can't mix the two brands tend to be resilient and strong they have great value on their own mm. the people who own it are tend to tend to be separated as kiran said from the people who consume it no but if you if if vijay malya comes back mm. repays his loan and and makes a go of rerunning that airline mm. i'll call him a richard branson my god Sure. You're, you're really, you're really letting your imagination run wild. No, but that's uh, uh, that's what Richard Branson really stands for. But do you think this will happen? This is not going to happen. If it does, then I'll call him Richard Branson. Okay, okay, okay. And, and you never know. In a different uh, society, in a different economic setting, uh, all the bankers take a haircut. Fuel prices down. Aircrafts are available. You may never know. Kingfisher Airline may start flying again. All right, all right. So we're we're getting very ambitious at, as we come to the end of this special go. episode. Uh, the panelists here, of course, in consensus that despite uh, you know Malia being in the docks, Kingfisher actually is going to be soaring high, keeping us in good spirits and possibly even better spirits, given uh, that the backlash, according to the experts on the table today, uh, may mm -hmm. actually uh, go up a notch or two. And on that note, I, I think I'm totally out of time, so I have to wrap the show up. But thank you so much, Kiran, from Delhi for joining in. Uh, thank you so much, gentlemen, Ambi, Ramesh, and Pralat Kakkar. This has been truly fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, stay tuned to ET Now.